How are artificial islands built? The essence of artificial islands is to fill the sea with soil. The first step is the artificial coffer dam, which uses earth and rocks to form a seawall to form the outline of the island. First use a dredger to dig out the soft silt on the seabed, and then fill it with sand. Gravity squeezes to make the foundation firm and firm and then pile stones or sandbags into a seawall. One way to be more efficient is to use a more efficient steel cylindrical coffer dam. A steel cylinder with a diameter of 22 meters, a height of 50 meters, and a weight of 500 tons is directly inserted into the soft soil layer with eight vibrating hammers. After reaching the solid impermeable layer of the seabed, sand is injected into the cylinder. To insert the curved steel plate, fill the gap, and inject sand. After forming the coffer dam, drain the seawater inside. Then fill the coffer dam with sand. Transporting sand from the land takes time and effort. The filling of the island requires local materials, mainly by cutter suction dredgers. When working, the steel piles at the stern of the ship will be inserted into the seabed to fix the ship, and then traverse anchors will be cast on both sides in turn, and then the cutter head will be placed on the seabed, and the reamer will be swung left and right to dredge by pulling the cable on the traverse anchor. Two steel piles alternately inserted into the seabed can make the ship move slowly and continue to dredge. The mud excavated by the cutter head will be sucked by the mud pump in the ship, and the mud will be sprayed onto the artificial island through the mud pipe. In this way, the artificial island was gradually built. This is a cutter suction dredger produced by Zhang Su Hansel Marine. Our cutter suction dredgers are used in many dredging projects and artificial island projects. Please consult us if you have any related questions, we are happy to serve you.